Hi! If you've never cut hair before, or if you're a beginner, then this video is for you. In this short demonstration, I will show step-by-step -step how to cut boys or men's hair with clippers in the simplest way possible. So by the end of this video, you will know all the basic techniques that can be applied to practically every haircut. Feel free to leave your comments or questions below. For this haircut, you will need a pair of sharp scissors, a comb, a sprayer bottle, and of course, a pair of clippers with safety guards. If you're cutting hair for the first time, I would recommend starting off with a number four guard. Today, for this example haircut, I'm going to use a number three guard. Start with the sides and back. Don't forget to keep the hair dry, as wet hair is nearly impossible to cut properly with clippers. Start from the nape of the neck and work your way up to the occipital bone, or the line where the head begins to curve. Use a scooping motion to pull the clippers away. Don't go too high, as we need to leave room for blending. Keep the consistent technique all the way around the head, and when you reach the sides, try to keep it even about the temple area. Always go against the natural direction of the hair, as this will produce a nice, clean, precise cut do exactly the same on the other side. Make sure to use scooping motions as this will guarantee a smoother transition with the upper portion and will be easier to blend in afterwards. The next step is to clean up along the edges. You can take the guard attachment off now. Be careful and work slowly as bare clippers without the safety guard can be very sharp. Don't cut too much into natural hairline. Just try to trim only the edges, otherwise you will end up with white lines. Just make sure when cutting around the ears to pull it down to get a more accurate cut. Take your time. It's always better to do this step nice and slowly. Don't forget to clean up any stray hairs on the neck below the hairline. When cutting across the nape of the neck, be sure to stand directly behind the person. It's much easier to make nice straight horizontal lines. You can even use a comb as a guide for straight edge. Remember to check both sides to make sure they are even. And move on to the top section. I'm going to use scissors for the top section, so make sure to wet the hair as that will make it much easier to cut. First, you need to cut a guideline. It's an imaginary line from the forehead to the crown, the center of the head. The length you create here will determine the way you approach the rest of the haircut. Cut the hair to the length you want between your index and middle fingers, following the natural head shape and moving towards crown area, leaving the hair a little bit longer around the crown. Your guideline is now done. From now on, cut in sections next to guideline, to the one side of the head. When starting a new section, always take a little bit of hair from the previously cut section, as you can see here. This is how you will know the length to cut in the new section. Move to the other side of the head and repeat the same technique, cutting section by section.
Make sure to keep the hair wet when using scissors, as it will make it more easier to cut. Next, blend the top into the sides. I am going to use scissors for the blending, so make sure to wet the hair. I will show the blending with scissors technique. Lift the hair out at a 90 degree angle and hold it between your index and middle fingers. Make sure to keep the fingers vertical. You can see a little bit of the clipped hair below and the longer hair above it. Hold the scissors vertically and cut the longer hair off to get smooth blending. Repeat the process, gradually trimming down the longer top hair till it blends in with the shorter clipped hair. Be careful and cut a little bit less than needed. Instead, repeat the process to acquire the desired length. If you prefer, you can use hair clippers for blending. Check my other videos for clipper over comb technique. Next, trim the bangs. Combing the hair forward, use the point cutting technique in order to get nicely texturized bangs, positioning the scissors sideways to achieve the proper angled cuts. But remember, wet hair shortens as it dries, so be careful not to cut too much. Next, styling and finishing. Firstly, be sure to comb out all loose hair and trimmings. Dry the hair thoroughly with a hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, use a towel. Finish the look by using your preferred hair styling product. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haircut tutorial and maybe learned something new. Make sure to leave any questions in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when I post new content. Thanks for watching. Join us again for more tutorials.